Coming to you from the Scotty D TV, you can't cancel cool road tour 2020. And today I'm coming to you from Waseca, Illinois, Nichols Paint and Fab. And they got a 63C10 I think y'all gonna like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. Justin, I dig this truck, brother. Tell me a little bit about it. Thanks, yeah, this is probably one of my favorite trucks we've done. It's a 63 Chevy C10. We started this for a customer, uh, his name was Todd. Uh, he had us build it for him. We took two inches out of the front of the bed, so the short bed's actually a shorter bed. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. And uh, what do you do about the chassis then? We shorten the chassis too. What was it? <laughs> I know it doesn't matter, but let me just go ahead and throw it out there. What was the advantage of taking two inches off of it? Because I don't like. If I look at something and I, I something bugs me, uh -huh. I'm gonna cut it out. Really? By yeah. two inches? Yeah. Really? It was just like it's I've, just just that much too long. Exactly. I've taken an inch out of stuff, you know, the whole car. I didn't... Well, I can understand taking an inch out here and there and this there and everywhere, but I'm not sure that I grasped just cutting the two inches off the bed. And, and did you make other changes to it? Did you narrow it then and anything like that? No, yeah, I just uh, pulled two inches out of the front of the bed, and obviously we had to shorten the trim and the chassis right. and all that stuff, and did our own custom bed wood. Um, but there's there's storage under the bed, and uh, it's it's obviously the floor is high, but right. that's for all the air ride and the, sure. the travel and the the front grill we modified the hell out of that we took a, a four headlight gmc grill uh, i widened the center and then shrunk the outside so it's a you know two headlighter now and if you look at the bottom it says chevrolet right. that was the top part of the 63 grill that i moved to the bottom i don't know I, when i build stuff i like to just so okay. if it was the top then it just you dropped it straight down i mean because i'm thinking you cut the top out you got to turn it upside down to make it work on the bottom well you brought it down yep straight down to the bottom part of the the body I guess you yeah. could call it and yeah. then uh, we built that GMC grill in there and modified it and and then uh, we modified the hood quite a bit too we took the marker lights out obviously and uh, that's a GMC hood the GMC's had a wider opening in the center as opposed to the the C10's where they had two smaller ones okay I just think it looks more aggressive and like a whale's mouth yeah no no I understand because I had a Yukon and a Tahoe to choose from, so as a GM and Chevrolet, I like the GM look of that too. Sure. So you took a Chevrolet truck and tried to give it more of a GMC look to it. Yeah, yeah, and we flipped the stock bumper over, and it's uh, we just tried to make it look a little different. Right. So. And then it's satin black? It's uh, Yeah, we got the gloss black, and then we mixed in the, the satin black on the hood and, uh, and then on the tailgate and, and behind the grill and stuff, just to mix it up a little bit. It's a very dark truck. Uh, the light has to hit it right just to see the details. Right. And then what's that bed wood? So the bed wood's uh, actually just oak. Uh, we stained that uh, with a walnut finish, and we made our own custom bed strips, and you couldn't find a kit for it, so we right. had to make it. Yeah, because so. right, every other kit was two inches too long. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what about the interior? So the interior, there's a lot of paint in there. A lot of people don't even realize that that's paint. Uh, so it's a it's a matte finished uh, color, and then we had uh, Boss match the the seat and the carpet and everything to that. Right. And if you notice, there's a bunch of hand pinstriping even on the headliner. It's on the headliner, on the doors, on the dash. The dash is two toned. Uh, so I just wanted to make it look super clean and functional. And then Megan made custom kick panels. Yeah, she made the kick panels for this, so it, it actually looks like a pleated upholstery piece you right. know and that's even got pinstripe on it too yeah. so yeah. well the whole edge of the door's got pinstripe on it yeah yeah there's pinstripe everywhere i almost missed that but then i was like i was trying to get the pinstriping that's in the jam of the door and when i was shooting that then i realized well man this thing's got a pinstripe that goes all the way around the edge of the door yeah. and then when we rode in it today you were like well it's got one that goes all the way around the roof too did you see that <laughs> no that's very cool who did all the pinstriping on this thing so that's actually a good friend of really all of us uh mike joiner uh goes by scully's pinstriping he's from a uh, half hour north of here and he just comes down and knocks stuff out for us is he an old school dude or is he a young cat he's uh he's a few years older than us uh, i don't know exactly how old and i wouldn't right. say either way right, right. but no nah, he's just good people. well i mean because pinstriping is not exactly a you know, fresh art right it's kind of like very few people know how to actually do it and this dude knows how to do it he does man i i tell him you know what i'm after in each build and he, it's like he kind of reads my mind and just does it and I don't have to hold his hand or worry about a thing and he just kills it. What size tires and wheels does it run? So that we're, we're 15 steel wheels on that, uh, Coker tires again. The, uh, the rears, I don't remember the width, but they're as wide as we could possibly go. Right. 
and it's on air it is on air right it's got accu air system in there so it's all got the the sensors and all that stuff so it's uh it goes down the road awesome yeah no it's cool what's up under the hood of this thing so under the hood is a 5.3 uh ls motor um with a bunch of metal work done a ton of metal work yeah yeah the, and more pinstriping <laughs> yeah more pinstriping more pinstriping uh flat black we built the engine cover for it uh, that's what the customer wanted he didn't really want to see any of the mechanical part of it um so we we gave him that right this has almost got a grease look to it the movie grease like this <laughs> truck would would fit in that you know i, I suppose yeah you could throw a glass hood on it and well i mean yeah i didn't think so much of that but i just i don't know i just i just have this thing picturing like it rolling down the street even though it wouldn't have been around but it would have fit in just fine in the mid 50s i think you're right man yeah it you would. know what i'm saying it, I mean, it's got that look yeah it's a it's a classic just a clean classic truck right no yeah. I, that's what i'm saying i think this thing will play well it played would have played well in the 50s and 60s 2020 just a cool truck yeah i think 20 years from now it's still going to be neat i think so too i don't think you did anything on it that is going to even date this truck because when you built the truck some of the styling cues pinstriping some of that kind of stuff it wasn't like that was what was popular at that point you know what i'm saying so i think no i think you've built a timeless pickup truck here thanks yeah, yeah i appreciate that and you say that the client that owns it now is put it up for sale yeah yeah so this the guy that owns it now bought it from us at sema a few years ago it's been sitting in his collection uh it's just it's a fun truck to drive but it's just too pretty i guess to drive so right. he's uh ready to move it and move on to the next project cool so if anybody's interested in buying that truck just get with a uh, nickels paint and fab on facebook or instagram or whatever right anywhere you want to find us brother that is a cool truck anything i don't i'm missing about it some uh, feature i don't know that i didn't see i mean we could sit here and talk all night if you want but yeah. uh yeah no there's there's a bunch i mean different tail lights built a roll pan i mean there's just a lot to the truck it's, right it's just a simple clean truck yeah you tell me there's a lot to the truck it's just a simple clean truck so you, you know how that goes i know that's you why know that's that so, and, and that and folks this is the problem with interviewing these craftsmen these guys that are true craftsmen they will not brag about their work they won't even tell you you know they won't even tell you something some of the stuff that they've done to it and at the end of the day i think it's a, what they're looking for is they don't want they want to be able to do it so it can't be told it's been done exactly you right. hit that right on the head man yeah yep. and why tell somebody if you can't figure it out for yourself then you've done your job if you look down the vehicle and nothing grabs your eye that it's different that means that's the way it's supposed to be right on brother what a cool truck again thanks so much for giving me some time today no problem buddy so there you go 1963 chevrolet c10 pickup truck laying on the ground from nichols paint and fab and the scotty dtv you can't cancel cool road tour 2020 hope you all have enjoyed it see ya Make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.